Hi everyone, I'm Krista Fisher from Gwen and Mercy University and Parent and Special Needs Magazine asked me to speak about transition planning, so let me get started. I began my journey in special education not long after I graduated college in 2003, and after several years and many experiences, I developed a passion for transition planning, an area I've been working in ever since. I love transition planning because it is the culmination of years of hard work from the student, their parents, and teachers. When done well, it is the bridge students need to move from the classroom to the real world and be successful. Families might ask, when should I start with transition planning? And as surprising as this might sound, I think families can start transition planning from their students' first days of school. I love the idea of exposing students to their future selves and letting them explore what that means for them. The earlier you start, the more time there is to explore before settling on a realistic vision for the future. There is no one right first step, but a good place to start is simply asking questions. What is your vision for the future? What kind of job do you see yourself doing? Do you want to go on to more schooling? Where do you want to live? And then taking those answers and figuring out how to make them possible. There are tons of great tools and assessments out there to help with transition planning, but one I really love is the ONET Interest Profiler from My Next Move, which is a completely free online tool that assesses your interests and helps you match them to future careers. To me, the most important tool and something you can do with or without the assistance of your school is creating a person-centered plan with your student. Person-centered planning is a framework for looking at where you have been, where you are now, and where you want to go. It helps a person create a vision for their life, which can then act as a guidepost for achieving what they've envisioned for themselves. The thing about person-centered planning is, as long as you keep the person and their vision at the center of the conversation, there is no wrong way to do it. At Gwened, we use Charting the Life course, which like the ONET, can be found online for free and even offers trainings so anyone can learn to facilitate a person-centered plan. If there is one thing I would tell parents to start doing differently during transition, it is empowering their child to be an advocate. I'm not saying stop advocating for your child, but start giving them the skills and space to advocate for themselves. It will benefit them in the future far more than if you do it for them. And now I'd love to share one of our Gwen and success stories. Nick McGee is a recent graduate of ours who came to us with a goal of participating in the Disney College Internship Program. And well, I'll let you read more about it, but suffice it to say, he set his goal on working for Disney and he never wavered. Nick took classes and internships that supported that goal. He worked on his independent living skills both on campus and at home. And last fall, Nick was offered his dream internship with Disney. For the remainder of that fall, Nick and his circle of support, myself included, worked tirelessly to coordinate accommodations, job supports, and logistics to make it possible. In January of 2024, Nick moved thousands of miles from home to live and work at Walt Disney World, the true culmination of many years of dreaming, planning, and preparing. Nick can and should serve as an inspiration to so many people out there who have a vision for their future and are working hard to achieve it. Thank you so much for this chance to share, and I hope you enjoy it.